So today I'm excited to share with you my latest Amazon must-haves. I can't wait to get into this with you. However, you're going to see me presto changeo my clothes because being the goober that I am, I forgot to record an intro. So I do have on a different top right this second and I'll make sure that that is linked below. I'll give you a picture here really quick of it so you can see it. But yes, we're going to do an Amazon haul starting off with some fashion. Don't forget that there's also a very easy numbering system I'll put up a number next to the product I'm talking about. Then you can go down in the description box and find that number. And next to it will be the product with the link in and any colors or sizes or anything you might need like that. Seems like everybody enjoys shopping that way. So I hope that you do enjoy it. Let's get into that right now. I'll start out with the shirt. The shirt is an eyelet just a knit shirt it's so cute though i bought it in the blue and i bought it in the white and it's so comfortable and i bought a medium so it's a little bit tighter but i like it with jeans it looks really cute and it's so easy to wear it's got this little flutter sleeve on it v-neck and then the rivets on here it's so so cute and then my jeans are just the levi i think they're called um signature or something like that i can't remember I always want to, I always say the wrong one. I'll put it up on the screen so you guys can see. And besides that, I decided to go really trendy and wear these little platform shoes that are tennis shoes. I never thought that I would like anything like this. They're just as comfortable as the flat tennis shoes that I've worn for years and years. I'm going to come closer and I'm going to show you the jewelry. While I'm a little bit closer, I'll show you how high those are. They're so cute. They've got this mesh right here. And yeah, I've just have been having all kinds of fun with these. I usually wear Skechers every day of my life and these don't have any arch support or anything in them, but they're comfortable and I can wear them all day long. And I just thought they were fun. They might be too young for me, but I don't know, I'm feeling pretty young today. So <laughs> I really like these. And then my earrings, every time I wear these, you guys like them, I love them. I believe they come in gold. This is the silver. They're just a beautiful, bright, light catching heart hoop. Perfect size for me. Everything was perfect about them. I love them. And then I remembered that I did have another heart necklace. This just has a little riding stone in the center of it. And then it lays on its side. While I'm standing up, I also want to show you this jacket. This jacket is so cute. When it gets to be this kind of weather, you almost need a transition jacket. This jacket is super light. I love the collar on it. And I love that it has the strings right here that you can pull and it will be, you know, just kind of hug your hip a little bit. And then you could cuff it if you want to, or if you want to, you could wear them down, whatever you wanted to do. Love the collar on it. I love everything about it. I just think this one is so darn cute. And it just looks like I've got, you know, spring on today. So I really like these pieces and I think you will too. Well, I also want to show you this little crossbody that I have. I love this purse. It's just so cute and the perfect size. And I've been talking about not wearing such heavy purses because of the way my shoulders and my neck are. And this is just a cute purse. So let me get up closer and I'll show you the braiding and the detailing on it. So here is the purse. It's so cute. It's got all this braiding right here all the way across it. And on the back, it's got a pocket with a zipper that's kind of nice because you can put your ID in there if you need to. And then it's just a single pocket. Got a couple of like cell phone pockets and a security pocket back there. But it's got this cute little tassel with the little uh, fuzzy ball on there. And I just think it's really cute. And yeah, this is one that I've been loving too. Okay, we're gonna scooch right on into the other stuff. I got this for my husband. Does anybody else's husband or significant other use a ton of body wash? I swear, I buy my husband so much body wash and he loves fragrance anyway. He's one of those guys that likes to smell good, but it's insane the amount of body wash that he uses. Anyway, this is Old Spice and this is Gentleman's Blend. It says eucalyptus and coconut oil scent and it says 24 hour lock in moisture body and face wash. So I got a four pack of these. They come in a set of four. And you know, I know that's not gonna last him the rest of the year. I'm gonna have to buy more, but he loves this. He really, really likes it. It's one of his favorites. So anytime I see a good deal like that, I go ahead and I pick one up for him. Then I got a little carried away because I saw this gal on TikTok. She wasn't using these, but she was doing like body. Oh, she was using one of these. That's what it was. This is a dry rub brush for your body so you can do dry brushing, which this one is great because it does have the little plastic nodules in it. So you get a little bit firmer of a massage. I, my skin gets a little bit unhappy when I use something 
aggressively. So I have to be careful with this. Um, the other nice thing about it though, is it brings all that blood up to your, the surface of your skin. It can actually help keep your skin, um, from sagging also because you're bringing a lot of blood there and then it'll build elastin and it's just beneficial. It gets rid of toxins and you move your lymphatic system. And that's what these do. So this is separate. This is a dry brush that I love. And then that's what these are. And these are huge body tools for doing this is like the gua sha little tool that we have only it's for your leg and for your rear and for your back it's so great to be able to have something like this and no i promise it's not a weapon <laughs> it's not a weapon but i do like this it's great to be able to use this even over your head over the top of your head it just it feels so good to be able to do this on your neck everywhere and it's just a really cool shape too because it can contour, you know, it can go into the contours of the body wherever you need it to. It just feels really good when somebody's helping you with that. And then this one right here, these all move. And I got this for cellulite on my legs. Now we will see as time goes on. But I have heard that that can be a lot of lymphatic drainage kind of caught up. Of course, it's fat. I have fatty legs. I have since I was like 12 i've had really big thighs now don't get too aggressive because i did cause a couple of bruises i think i was going a little bit too ham on it so yeah this is really nice too it's also really nice to be able to have somebody again roll your back it just feels really good and i have been enjoying doing it on my calves and my thighs so i cannot believe i lived without this this is a steamer and i wish i had some water in here because i should be showing you this heats up so fast. I mean, you turn this baby on and like that, you've got steam coming out and you're ready to steam your clothes. Instead of ironing, I don't even own an ironing board anymore after this, it's gone. Um, it's also got this little tool right here, which is good for velvets and uh, velours and things like that. So that's good. And I love this thing. It really does it quickly. On my last one that I had, the water dripped really bad. What I found is that you need to let it heat for a second before you go in onto your clothes. Don't worry about the water dripping though, unless your clothes will stain with water, because some clothes do, but I haven't had anything happen like that. This is so fast. It just, it heats up really quickly, and when you turn it off, it really quickly cools down. And it's very handy and very portable. It's not gonna take up any space in your suitcase. So yeah, I've kind of fallen in love with that. I think it's a great tool for anybody to have. And this, okay, I was totally influenced to get this. This is for your dry hairspray. Now they did say that this little cubby right here is to where you can put your dry hairspray can. I can't fit any of mine down in there, they're too fat. But the curve on this goes right onto your head and so you spray in, right, all of your dry shampoo, and then you can go in after it's dried a little bit and, you know, kind of work it really good in. And it does, it works really good. I know, I know, it's a little gimmicky, but I was like, why hasn't anybody else thought of this, like, curved thing for your head? And even just to kind of massage, it feels really good. So, yeah, I was totally influenced to get that, but it really works good with dry shampoo and yeah, I'm a sucker for something like this. So yeah, bought it. Okay, I think that this right here is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. These are four different atomizers for perfume that you can throw in your purse, right? But what's really unique and cool about it is you have the whole perfume thing. What you do with your perfume is you take off the little cap thing that goes right there, and then you just put the bottom of the, the perfume sampler on there and then it fills in to the inside of this and it has a little reservoir window right there so you are seeing what you're doing and you fill it up now i'll tell you why i got it i have a lot of perfume i try a lot of products you know i do some i like some i don't i bought these to be able to share with my family because you buy a bottle like this and i don't know about you but i like all different kinds of fragrances and so you buy a bottle like this and it's like like takes you forever to get through it because you have so many others that you use but if you share with your friends and your family then they get to enjoy it and they get to see what they like too I just thought it was so cool. So I, every now and again, I'll get one out. I'll give it to my daughter, to my mom, my sister, my friends. And I just think that this is a really great idea. Being able to put it into there that easy is a great idea too. So these little atomizers are great. I think they're just perfect for me to be able to give something just really spontaneous. Oh, I got one of those in my purse. Here you go. So that's all kinds of fun. I think I have shown this brush before, but I'm not 100%. 
I think the brushes that I showed the last time were the Duke Care brushes that were the two set. This is a new one, I think. Well, it's new to me. Okay, let's just say that. You guys may, have, may or may not have seen it. So this, this side right here is really fluffy, nice dome for powder. And then this side I thought would be great for either concealer or for buffing out foundation. I really like this. You can also use that for contour and then buffing it in if you need to with a stipple action there. I love dual sided face brushes. I'm not big on them with your eyes. I don't like that at all, but I love it when it is a face brush and this is super soft and it's synthetic. And yeah, I like Duke Care as a brand. I think they do a really good job. So this is one that I was really glad to add to my brush collection. You guys have to forgive me with my hair today because my hair is like, out of control. I don't know what the situation is, but we've got a situation of some sort with my hair. I don't know. I recently was watching Penny, Penn Smith Skincare. I swear I mention her in every video lately. She was talking about this uh, macadamia natural oil deep repair mask for your hair. Okay, I've got this and I put it away and because I had other ones that I wanted to use up for, you know, whatever reason. And then I got this and I got it out and smelled it and it's heaven. Oh my goodness. I, I know some people can't handle fragrances, but this one, it smells so good. It's just a very light, very kind of floral smell, but at the same time, it's got a few notes of fruit in it and it makes your hair smell fantastic. But better than that, it makes your hair super soft and it doesn't weigh it down. I love this. I'm trying to grow my hair out a little bit, not necessarily on purpose just because I haven't been wanting to go to the salon and so I've just let, been letting it grow. The other thing that I've been doing lately is really letting my hair rest in between using my hot tool, my hot tools on it, whether it's a curling iron or whether it's rollers. But yeah, this is great. It's a big, huge tub too. It's like 16 ounces. So it's a big tub. Most of them are eight. And I really, really love this. It's really a good one. And I can definitely recommend it, even if you have fine limp hair like I do. I mean, my hair never likes to cooperate. So definitely, if you're somebody that has even coarse hair, this is going to be a great deep mask. Okay, I wanted to show you this mini blender for your cup. I'll tell you why. It's, it would be great to just do, you know, individual coffees or whatever you want to do. But I keep this up in my room and I keep it by my collagen because for some reason the collagen that I have right now, it gets a little bit lumpy when I put ice in there. And you would think that I would learn to, you know, stir it up before I put the ice in there, but I never think about my collagen until after the ice is there. So I've been using this and it stirs it up perfect and I don't have to, you know, kind of figure out what I've just bit into in my drink. So I really like this. It comes in a bunch of colors, very inexpensive, kind of powerful too. I was really surprised. So if you do need to use it in your kitchen, it's going to be great in your kitchen. You could probably even do some soups with this if you're somebody that does that. But yeah, it's kind of nice to be able to have one that is just small enough to go in your room or whatever you need for it. So that one is one I recommend. And then I also want to tell you about two things of vitamins and I've mentioned them already but I'm gonna mention them again because I think that these got me through feeling better after my operation. And so this has been like all over social media. I mean, it is the social media craze is this vitamin, uh, multivitamin essential liquid morning, multivitamin essentials, Mary Ruth's. Um, it's non-GMO, vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, zero fat, sugar-free, um, family-friendly, energy beauty and immune support this one is the fruit punch one by the way i don't like the raspberry one the fruit punch is pretty good um it says it has an improved formula with better taste and texture and this is it really has been giving me some really great energy i also feel like my hair is growing like crazy like i was just talking about but since i've been taking this i've just i've felt better it just helped me bounce back from that surgery and that surgery was really hard on me i think this is my second bottle it tastes okay it's you know when you take liquids sometimes they taste so nasty there's no way you can do it but it tastes okay um it's not you know i wouldn't want to have a drink of it but it's good and so i really recommend that one and then i want you to do some research and if i can find the article that i read about trace minerals and how important they are to you I will definitely find that article and link it below. This is a 90 day supply, oh, 96 day supply of trace mineral drops 
full spectrum daily liquid drops for hydration, energy, pH balance, and digestion. And all of those things has improved on me since I started taking this. So I really do feel like both of those products together are really helping me with a lot of energy and feeling a lot better. So definitely check those out if you need a good vitamin or mineral. But I do wanna talk about these and I have several other colors. These are from CoverGirl. These have been out for years, but everybody over on TikTok has all of a sudden decided that they're gonna lose their noodle over these. These are frosted lipsticks. I mean, honestly, what we did this like in the late 70s, early 80s. We were the frosted lipstick gal. Everything that is old is new again, I guess. And these are so pretty. Like, that's just a frosted mauve color. I'll make sure I list all these down below for you. I really kind of have been enjoying revisiting my youth and checking out these lipsticks again. I love a really good glossy look on my lips anyway. So a frosted lipstick is just like one jump from that. So I really have been enjoying these. I think they're really great. Also your girl that never wears false eyelashes. Something happened when I went through all of that earlier this year where my eyelashes aren't as nice as they've been. Now they're starting to come back and they're starting to get a little better. But I have been occasionally and I don't wear false eyelashes because I don't think they're really great for the health of your eyelashes, but I've been wearing this half lash occasionally. They do kind of make you feel like your beauty routine is elevated just a little bit. So yeah, I've been kind of liking these. They've been kind of fun and I wanted to tell you about them. And the reason I think that I've been able to wear them and they be okay is I also found a pen glue. You can paint it on your eye and it's glue on there and then you can put these on. It's eyeliner. It's so good. So I'll make sure that I list that below for you too. Yeah, I've been enjoying for the first time in my life having a little bit of false lash. I don't have them on right now, but having a little bit of false lashes just to, you know, make me feel a little bit better because my mascara or my eyelashes or something, it's not cooperating very much with me lately. That is my Amazon must haves. I hope that you did enjoy seeing this today. I wanna to say thank you so much for being with me. And I wanna ask if there's anything that you have seen in clothing or makeup or homewares that you have just been loving at Amazon right now. I would love to hear that from you. I love recommendations to Amazon because I'm telling you, you can peruse that thing for hours and not find what you want, but then you get in there and you watch somebody and you're like, that's really cool how they find that. So if you guys have anything you want to recommend to me, I would love to try it. Thanks everybody so much for being with me and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye my friends.